Today this is a screencast documenting the installation of the brand new Adobe Acrobat X purchased from Adobe.com. The first setting here we have is uh, select a, uh, a language. We're going to choose English. Let me get this back into the, there we go, into the window. Select next. There's my name and we'll paste in my serial number. This will of course be blacked out. I want to install the full version. We're going to choose to activate. I always choose the custom option. I like having a grasp of what options are available. In this case here, let's see with the PDF, I do not need Asian language support. That's okay. Uh, as well as in the view we'll turn off the Korean, Chinese, and Simplified Chinese language support and I will also turn off the Japanese language support. If I need it, I can come back later and install it. We'll just minimize the total package since I do not regularly get Asian language documents. There's next. Install. If you notice a couple extra buttons that are at the top of the screen right here and here. Uh, I've got a multi-monitor setup and that's buttons that are provided by uh, Display Fusion, which is an optional add-in for Windows 7, provided by Binary Fortress software, which I purchased for... Let me disconnect my Microsoft Outlook. There we go. Took a couple times to retry but we're moving forward. One of the main reasons for purchasing Acrobat X is that I'd upgraded to Office 2010 and I wanted to be able to have the option to be able to have the add-in toolbars and the full integration with Microsoft Office 2010 that I'd previously enjoyed that uh, Acrobat 9 had with Office 2007. It'll take just a few more seconds here. as it continues to copy and install the files. The total download size when I purchased this from adobe.com was uh, 465 megabytes um, over my cable internet connection that took about two minutes to download and then it is uh, extracted to a folder which then has the actual uh, installation files in it. Just a few more seconds as we continue with the install here. If you're a student in academia uh, or a teacher you can get the full pro version for $119 plus tax which is a fantastic deal as a graduate student myself I thought that was a fantastic deal. Um, you can also get that through Adobe, I'm sorry, through Amazon and other similar third-party merchants. Amazon actually had listed this for coming out later in December and was excited to see it come out already in November. The other impetus for purchasing the software is I had a project where I was recently having to use Lifecycle Designer at the forum but unfortunately the integration with Word 2010 was lacking and that was to be uh, supplemented with Acrobat X and so to be able to move that project along I could easily justify uh, the expenditure and I'm eagerly looking forward to seeing how Acrobat X performs and works with Microsoft Office. This is running on Windows 7, 64-bit. The uh, first thing that I see is the desktop icon that's created. I'll bring that into the screencast here in just a second. It does have the drop shadows. That's uh, present in the newer 
Adobe products such as can be found in CS5. So we can see they've brought over that graphical queue into Acrobat X. There's that desktop shortcut where you can see the drop shadow in the corners that uh, bring in graphical alignment with the rest. Setup complete. Activate, register. The new Acrobat launch window also has the fun bit. Here we go. We will choose to accept the license. Let me see if I can drag this into the screencast window. Here we go, getting started. The standard dialog. I do not see a way to immediately disable this. Options open, create, take a snapshot, view, options to act, activate, uh, check, let's check for some updates here and see if there's any updates. And today's download is the newest update. And there you go, that's the new Acrobat Pro. Let me also open Microsoft Word and let's check to see how that add-in works. bring Word down into a size so that's suitable you can see. So here we go in Word 2010 you can see in the ribbon we've got the, the Acrobat toolbar here with the options to embed flash, Acrobat comments, send for review, mail merge uh, and so I look forward to going to have this tight integration and there you go here's a first look at the installation of Adobe Acrobat X on Windows 7